oh too compassionate and eager don that is what savitri is she is too eager to bring about a change at once immediately right now here she had to evolve too compassionate and eager don she is a don she is the pioneer she is the bringer of day savitri is the bringer of day of the divine day therefore she is don but the dawn dawn is trying to rush through the night very quickly without allowing the night to grow into dawn you are too eager live to the circling eons tardy pace all the safety all this process lies in the tardy process in the tardy pace slow evolution is necessary is important slow evolution why slow evolution necessary because it means that you will be attending to every small 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 detail in the process of evolution you are not going to miss something you are not going to jump over things and rush through by carrying on the slow evolution you will be able to work out all the minutiae of this creation all these particulars this creation and therefore let things happen in the slow pace of time otherwise something will be missing you see and to the working or inconscient will live to its imperfect light the earthly race now this is not a curse according to him on man live to its imperfect light the earthly race it is the boon because it is that way he can attain to details he can make progress he can proceed of his own why because all shall be done by the long act of time time is agent time is going to work out everything live things to time eons have passed but the eons have not been wasteful they produce something man has come up to this point that is self is the great gain you are not there in that sense to bring out this process so let time call up let him work out the dynamics of the whole process and in the dynamics of the process till we move forward all shall be done with a long act of time in other words savitri you have nothing to do you can either stay here or go back or whatever again time will work out things time will work out things you see <laughs> time has enough power enough capacity to achieve what it is meant to be there for it is there for now <clears throat> that of course leaves a great question mark all shall be done by the long act of time if it were so then what is the necessity of the coming of an avatar why should an avatar come and hasten the pace of evolution carry things forward one by one let time do things you see let time do things that is what it amounts to here and yet there is certain necessity of the coming of the avatar this certain necessity in the sense that avatar comes here to take evolution forward from one stage to the other stage his main work is to lead evolution onward forward to establish order law okay 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 but essentially it is on a layer of consciousness which each avatar will add to the course of evolution that is the whole work of avatar in other words avatar is impatient about the long act of time he is impatient he is not concerned he is not uh, happy with this long act of time he is impatient why is he impatient he has to be impatient 
because avatar when he comes here he brings another divine force with him to take that step forward more affirmatively more positively more assuringly why assuringly because the power of inconscience cannot be underestimated it has such great hunger such capacity that it can swallow anything even the long works of time it can swallow up that is the power of inconscience that is the power of inconscience so in order to counter that the avatar comes here and takes the evolution forward so in a certain sense therefore there is a kind of a misjudgment on the part of the supreme <laughs> that the long act of time will do things yes of course you see <laughs> it might happen of course it can happen in fact the fact is as the mother said there had been six creations earlier and they had to be dissolved they could not bring about the divine event the long act of time could not stop the process of that dissolution the necessity of avatar becomes important listen and therefore he comes here and does some work here assures that things will move onward you see all shall be done with a long act of time and then the divine tells savitri savitri let time work out things oh flame withdraw and thy luminous self so you not you need not be there you are done your job you need not be present there now you can withdraw you can dissolve into your original self you had done something but now you can go and dissolve it remove or else return to the original might on a sea summit above thought and world partner of my unhoured eternity be one with the infinity of my power for thou art the world mother and the bride now this is a very powerful sentence very revealing very deep o flame withdraw into thy luminous self what does that mean well the meaning is obvious you have appeared as a flame now into the big fire you go and withdraw and disappear thy luminous self from where you had come the divine savitri had taken the human birth had become human savitri let that human savitri which has become the flame now merge into the divine savitri withdraw into thy luminous self or else return to thy original might this is a very clear way of telling us that savitri is none but an avatar this is another way of telling that savitri human savitri is none but an avatar return to thy original you had come from there here upon earth in other words you had become an avatar here your job is done go back now and return into that world return to the original might the avatar who the savitri is distinctly indicated here on a sea summit about thought and world yes that is what you are there 
into the transcendent on his partner of my unavowed eternity yes you are there unavowed eternity which cannot be partitioned which cannot be divided into moments and seconds and hours it cannot be divided like that unavowed eternity go and live back there be one with the infinite of my power for thou art the warm mother and the bright warm mother it is because of her that the creation has come into existence she is also the bright because it is she who will bring into manifestation the possibility of her lord for the supreme she is simultaneously the world mother and the bride yes and yes out of the fruitless yearning of earth's life out of her feeble unconvincing dream recovering wings that cross infinity pass back into the power from which thou gamest <laughs> very clearly he says that you are the incarnation here now your job of incarnation the mission of incarnation is completed come back now pass back into the power from which thou gamest you are the transcendental divine savitri you are taken to human birth for a certain purpose that job is done now go back and leave there to that thou canst uplift thy formless flight thy heart can rise from its unsatisfied being and feel the mortal and spiritual joy of a soul that never lost its felicity so although you have taken the human birth you had never lost your felicity even in the human condition you have been holding the divine joy always with you lift up the fallen heart of love which flutters cast down desire surface into the gulf your desire is to bring down the divine power upon earth forget about the desire cast it into the gulf come and live here because things will happen for ever this cured out of nature shame discover that discover what the aimless cycles want again he is leaving everything to the cycles of time they are intertwined with all the life as men here mainly sought in a terrestrial form break into eternity the mortal mold so he is <laughs> calling her back into eternity mortal you are taken the mortal form give up that mortal form melt lighting into thy invisible flame you had come into manifestation you had agreed condescended to pass the portals of the birth that is a death you had condescended to pass the portals of the birth that is a death that job is done come back now you are an ocean sorry you are a way on the ocean merge let that wave merge into the ocean class ocean deep into thy self thy wave happy forever the embosoming surge grow one with the still passion of the depths then you should now know the lover and the loved what is creation for that then you will understand when you are born leaving the limits dividing him and the and with that then he says receive him into boundless savitri that lover receive him let him 
शिव सावित्री लूज आई सेल्फ इन टू इन्फिनिट सत्यवान दैट इज द ट्रू यूनियन ओ मेरेकल वेर दाउ बे गैन देयर सीज वेर दाउ बे गैन देयर सीज इन द ट्रांसेंडेंट यूर बर्थ एवरीथिंग इज देयर अगेन दिस इज अनदर वे ऑफ टेलिंग द सावित्री इज एन अवतार यू बेगैन देयर गो बैक इन टू दैट ओ मेरेकल वेर दाउ बे गैन देयर सीज वॉट इज द मेरेकल the miracle in fact the most difficult miracle is that the divine can take the mortal birth that that is the greatest miracle the divine can take the mortal birth he is divine yet he can be mortal that is paradoxical but it is there that's the miracle how he does it by his own power by his own nature super nature so that is the contention of the supreme as far as savitri is concerned and now savitri is ready with her answer <laughs>